Hi, Art here, Off The Dole Media Group. Do you fly one of these? Do you want your FAA remote pilot certificate? Stay tuned, I'll show you how to get it in one week or less. Hi, welcome back. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. I uh, hope this video helps you out. Um, it's made uh, it's made a huge difference in my life and things that, that are going on with me. And without any further delay, let's get right into it. What this video was about is exactly as the title states. Part 107 training. It's how you can prepare for the Part 107 uh, FAA remote pilot test. Uh, prepare and take the test and have your temporary certificate so you can fly commercially within seven days and it is it is possible uh, when i started out as many of you did i was scouring the internet trying to find a way to to kind of get a head start on what was going on and didn't really know which way the program was going to go or which way the faa was going to go i started out by taking the um the faa safety um online course to the FAA site and got the certificate for that and um, it was good it gave me a heads up but it didn't it didn't go deeply into exactly what was going to be covered on the test so I kind of scoured and moved around on the internet for a couple of weeks off and on looking for a program that would suit what I was looking for because I was all over the place um, I was reading book after book after book and scouring and going through it and so forth, trying to get a heads up and um, wasn't really helping because I didn't have any direction. Uh, I came across remotepilot101.com, which is a great course. I'm really passionate about the course because it, it got me from point A to point B in a short period of time. I signed up for the course and uh, as you see on the screen, there are 13 different lessons or modules. Now, within those 13 modules, there are subchapters, if you will. Each lesson has, say, subchapters within it. Realistically, you can go through the program within seven days. And I did it the first time. I didn't take the test until the second time around. But you can go through it. You can realistically do a minimum if you make the time, you can do a minimum of two lessons a day. And what that would allow you to do would be to complete the entire module or program within about seven days. Uh, what I would suggest you do is take the, the course, complete the program, and immediately following completing the program, after you take your test exam, I'd probably say take you can take a test exam as many times as you want, but I'd say take the test exam at least two or three times and uh, get comfortable with the questions. Um, the questions are random. If you look at the the screenshot, this is actually of my my sign-in page or my, my, my dashboard. You'll see there are 13 modules on there, are 13 lessons. Uh, number 11, which is waivers, is not highlighted or doesn't have a check mark. And I wanted to bring a point to that. And basically what that's about is the course is constantly updated. Um, the site um, is well run and they take input from students with regard to the questions that they see on the exam that they feel that they didn't cover or they may need more emphasis on. So point being is that module number 11 on waivers wasn't there at the time that I completed the course. I'm gonna go back in and take take that, that section just to kind of update myself. Uh, it's a course for life. It'll constantly be updated because every year once you take the course, um, when you get licensed, you will have to take the FAA test uh, every two years. Once you pass the course, you will be issued a certificate which you see on your screen now. Um, once you get your certificate and you pass, trust me, you are, you're in good shape to, to go take the test. And again, I, I can't stress it enough. Do not delay. Once you pass the course online, register. And that's part of the process. You learn how to register. 
and where you need to go. It's two sites that you can go through. I, I went through CATS. Um, it's $150 to register, which you'll do on the phone, and you choose a location or test facility um, that's close to you. Once you're registered, you'll take the exam. You'll have two hours. There's 60 questions, and you have two hours to complete them. Once you pass your test, which you take on a computer, your instructor will print out your Airman Knowledge Test Report, which you see on the screen. The circle on the right-hand side, on the lower right-hand side, is actually an, an embossed uh, a seal that he's going to stamp it. And uh, your original copy you can't lose because there's information on there that is uh, specific to you. But uh, basically, you'll have your test results and the number of times that you take it. Okay. Once you have that, you can then go to the IACRA site or Integrated Airman Certification Rating Application or IACR, IACRA. It will take about 24 to 48 hours for your information from, I went through CATS. So it took about, about 24, it took about 24, 36 hours for me for the information to uh, populate to the IACRA site or to the FAA site. Uh, once that's populated, you can go online. You can go online and create a profile. You have to create an application. You learn how to do that through the program, through the course, and uh, you'll start your application. As you see on here, I started my application November 5th, and on the next screen, you'll see that I actually received my temporary certificate. November 7th, they made it available online. You'll get a temporary um, certificate that will allow you to fly commercially until you receive your hard copy in the mail. There are sections that I strongly would suggest you um, study more heavily or as heavy, heavy as the as the other sections, uh, you definitely need to to, to have a, a a grasp of longitude and latitude. Um, classes of airspace, the different classes of airspace, sectional charts, be able to locate, say, a tower, an airport, uh, an item, be able to name the different types of restricted, prohibited. Uh, airspaces or sections on the chart based on longitude and latitude okay which basically boils down to knowing your sectional chart front back inside and out and you should also have a handle on the weather uh, there are some weather questions that that kind of popped up that I wasn't necessarily expecting it's a great program the link is below uh, again is it is an affiliate link I will receive a small percentage which goes back to producing videos if you have any questions any comments uh, leave them below again please give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down and uh, don't forget to subscribe we're coming out with new reviews new animations and so forth the channel is we're on the move so again thanks a lot happy flying good luck